the Caucasus region, a complex and historically rich area straddling Europe and Asia, has been home to diverse ethnic groups for thousands of years. One of the key ancient cultures of the Caucasus is the Kura Araxas culture, which spread across modern-day Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Eastern Turkey, and Northwestern Iran. This early Bronze Age society is known for its distinctive black burnished pottery, early metallurgy, and a semi-nomadic lifestyle that incorporated both farming and herding. From a genetic perspective, the populations of the Caucasus exhibit a unique blend of Caucasus hunter-gatherer, Neolithic farmer, and steppe-related ancestry. Autoimmune diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis, are notably prevalent in the region. Studies suggest that certain genetic factors contribute to this predisposition, particularly variations in HLA genes, which play a crucial role in immune system function. HLA-DRB1 alleles, for instance, are strongly associated with an increased risk of rheumatoid arthritis in various ethnic groups from the Caucasus. Europeans also have increased autoimmune risks. Some HLA variants linked to multiple sclerosis have been detected at notable frequencies in the Caucasus region. Multiple sclerosis is a neuroinflammatory condition affecting the central nervous system and it has a well-established connection to certain HLA-DRB1 risk alleles, such as HLA-DRB1-14, which has been found in certain populations in the Caucasus. This genetic susceptibility, combined with environmental factors, may contribute to the occurrence of autoimmune conditions in the Caucasus region. For this video, I used Harvard Labs admix tools to study the genetic structure of the populations of the Caucasus. I used the 1240K plus HO dataset for my analysis. Here is the FST table I generated and used for further analysis with my mageplot tool. Here is the 2D PCA I built on the basis of this FST table. On this PCA, you can see how Caucasians all fall more or less in a single cluster with Armenians, Iranians and Azerbaijanis deviating towards Kurds and North Caucasians deviating towards Eastern European Mordovians. I built a phylogenetic tree on the basis of five principal components, here it is. And here is a tree built on the basis of 10 principal components. As you can see, Caucasians fall into four separate subclusters, which are Armenians, Northeast Caucasians, Northwest Asians, and Northwest Caucasians. Here is the Euclidean and Manhattan distances matrix built on the basis of that FST table. As you can see, Mardovians and Kurds are the most divergent groups here. My mage plot tool also does admixture modeling, selecting divergent groups as sources and modeling the other groups with them. Here is the admixture model that my mage plot tool generated. As you can see, populations of the Northern Caucasus mostly fall on a cline from Abkhazian to Kumyk, or from West Caucasian to Northeast Caucasian, while Azeris, Azerbaijanis, have a unique profile, mostly being descended from the Iranians. Here is what the Kumyk profile is comprised of. As you can see, it has heavy Yamnaya and Turkic admixture. And here is what the Abhasian profile is comprised of. As you can see, it is almost of pure Kura Araxis stock. Here is what the Iranian profile is comprised of. As you can see, it is mostly Caucasian, but has some South Asian and Middle Eastern admixture as well. The Mardovian component was present in some North Caucasians. Here is what the Mardovian profile is like. As you can see, it is a typical Northeast European. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And also, I want to remind you that links to Andre DNA services, such as QP admixture modeling or FST analysis, will be in the description of the video. Goodbye.